Hey there. This time I'm going to show you how you can solo farm Surefooted Enchant. Is it a bit it is a bit exploity, so do it at your own risk, I guess. I did it. Uh, but I'm just gonna go out and say we are going to be using size increases to clip through a wall so we can do it. Anyway, let's get started. So here is midnight. So it's like a fresh instance. We're just gonna go place our pet somewhere around here. Outside here. On stay. We're gonna put misdirect on him. We're going to volley one pack here of spiders so that they move out of the way. Right. This pack over here. And then we're going to multi-shot this pack later. But we wanna volley them so that they uh, walk this. Walk out of here. There might be one spider, this spider there. The last one sometimes aggro's on you anyway. You just have to wing clip it. We're gonna stand up about here. It's really easy on troll. Use size increase. We're gonna feign. And then we're just gonna log out. This spot is very uh, easy as a troll to hit. It was harder on my Blood Elf. You might have to do a few attempts depending on which race you are. Depending how like how big your model is. I don't know if dwarfs can do it. I'm sorry for dwarfs. But I'm pretty sure every, every race can. If Blood Elf can do it, I think every race can do it. But I'm not sure. It might be a little bit more precise so when we log in again we're gonna be here and we're just gonna jump up and go out like this so now we're still inside the carousel instance but we are outside of the actual carousel dungeon tower whatever so we're gonna go ahead and run up the river where the backdoor tower is supposed to be which like the backdoor tower should have been around here we're just gonna run up here and this is like the river that's supposed to have like a waterfall i believe there's just no water in it but at the other end of deadwind pass right up here there's like a pathway up right so we're just gonna run through here until so we can get up if we get up um by the ogres if you walk up where the ogres are we would zone basically to the very end where Malkazar is and it's it's possible to basically go all the way to Malkazar, but they put a death box there early in TBC So you can't reach Malkazar Normally this way, but it was reach he was reachable for a while Anyway, that's that's unimportant now You can do exploration if you want to so but we're here to first farm surf with it So I'm taking you through the route how to do that Coming up here, we have the one jump that matters, basically. This is like the one thing you can fuck up. You really want to have a slow fall for this. I should have mentioned that earlier in the video. Uh, we need slow fall and a size increase. That's all we need to do this. I mean, preferably like a PvP trinket and a rocket boot. But we're, once we get here, end of the road, we are going to go up on the right here behind these rocks I'm gonna, we're gonna jump behind up here to get or we're gonna jump here to get up this little hill and we can see nightbane in the distance over there sleeping and sleeping soundly until we press thingy and then once we're on this hill uh you can do it without with mount but then you have to wait a second or two before you press slow fall you can just do it with cheetah we want to line up to like this second tree like we you look at this house over here down here and we want to line it up to the second tree on the hill and then we're just gonna cheat the run, jump, and uh, parachute cloak at the same time. Or, well, uh, very within rapid succession. Oops. So, yep, here we go. Slow fall, jump, or jump, slow fall. We're gonna clip through a wall here. And then suddenly we're here. Under the opera stage. And, uh, yeah, like the ushers are alive. This is where it gets uh, difficult, right? So, we can kill two phantom stagehands every reset, which is good. Uh, it's these two here that I've marked. I'm just gonna let it uh, roll for a bit to show. All right, so now that we're here at the backstage, there are two stagehands we can kill. And, well, 
uh, in every week in Carousel you go here that you can kill three mobs if you do it this way I could do it in about 15 16 minutes if everything went right to kill both that's uh you know let's say two minute two mobs every 20 minutes instead of three mobs every week you know it's pretty good the recipe says six percent but it took me 200 kills to kill them well 150 solo kills I think I had like about 53 kills from going here with groups or something like that anyway I'm gonna go through how we're going to kill this and uh, I would highly recommend wearing uh, rocket boots and medallion of the horde simply to break nets if we have to it is a very RNG farm uh, things can go wrong snake trap is one of the worst spells in the game when it comes to um, triggering uh, let's go through it. I'm gonna do the cross mob because it gives it's the cross mob is easier to do because it gives you more time to run. So some issues that can happen is that you drop your snake trap and it doesn't trigger. Like the mob runs over trap and doesn't trigger it. That's awful. Uh, what, other, what else can happen is your snake ca trap can trigger and p few snakes are aggressive and some other are passive or all of the snakes are passive and it's basically like the trap didn't happen. Anyway, let's go through this first. You need to not have your pet summon when you initially aggro. You aggro it, you summon your pet. It has no aggro, but it's in combat. So we're gonna run all the way over here. So now my pet's in combat, so I can faint to it. We're gonna drop a snake trap in this doorway. Uh, we're going to try and do a little bit of damage. And when we... S let's see if it triggers. No, okay, so here we go. My trap just didn't trigger there. Like, it triggered, but the snakes were passive. So, that's a very good thing. So, this is something that can happen, and there are backup strats. But if it happens at like 90%, there's no point in. Uh, I would just reset. But this is something that can happen, and the reason that happens is you feign basically as the trap is triggering. Uh, and that just makes every snake go into a passive mode, and they don't even attack the NPC. And what we need to do here is we need to attack the NPC. I forgot to say, Maelstrom's Wrath is a pretty good necklace. It's not necessary. It's pretty good for this, though. Um, so we're gonna do it on the Skull Mob this time. You wanna have the snakes aggro the mob when you fade, so that the mob is gonna hit all the snakes one by one to give you more time for feign death and trap to get ready for the next cycle. So I'm gonna hit him here again. I'm gonna summon my pet. I'm gonna do rocket boots here just to be like, just to show. We're gonna place the snake trap here in the doorway again. Gonna try to do like some damage here. If they throw the axe, that's pretty good. So, let's see if it triggers the trap. It did. One important thing when it's triggered a trap is you cannot press any abilities because you're in combat, but your snakes are doing like one threat or something. But if you change aspect here, you're gonna get updated. You can't do anything and you can't unfeign. Uh, in his line of sight, like within his aggro range. So now when he runs back, we're just gonna pop some damage again. And we're gonna put another snake trap. And this is basically what we're gonna do the entire way. And I, I really recommend readiness for this. So fading again. So now he triggered snakes, but they became passive. So I'm just gonna do a backup strat. Well, I mean, the backup here is you have readiness for one. Like, uh, readiness is pretty nice. For this there we go now he aggroed the snakes properly and this is what you're gonna do over and over and over again so now i'm gonna show a normal one a normal um the run where i get my surefoot enchant i mean and how that went oh uh i won actually last thing is you can if you need to reset him and he like resists feign death or anything you can reset the npc without dying by jumping on the left side here. This one here is an evade spot. However, he is going to throw a weapon at you. Sometimes, like here. Now he throws a mallet toss at me. And he could have killed me there. Because you're unlucky. You can also switch fa uh, aspect there if you want him to stop. Like this. Anyway, I'm gonna go show the clip of me getting surefooted this way. <laughs> 